Welcome to Facts for Real Videos. This is the line's construction update. The line, which was first revealed by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in 2021, is by far the most ambitious megaproject in the nation to date. The planned self, sufficient linear city would extend over 100 kilometers from the Red Sea to about the eastern city of Tobuk. Two skyscrapers, each 500 meters tall, are planned for the city and will run parallel to one another. The idea is for the entire city to have zero automobiles, zero roads, and zero emissions, with everything you need being accessible by foot. An announcement such as this naturally sparked a lot of responses. Particularly following the release in October 2022 of drone footage showing excavation activities. However, little is known about the real progress made on the construction site since then. What does it look like now, then? The most recent information indicates that throughout the past year, a lot of work has been done on the line. The project's executive director disclosed in a recent exclusive interview that the crucial infrastructure's construction is expected to be 20% finished, too. This comprises significant highways, administrative buildings, and logistical centers required for upcoming site work. Satellite photos taken along the project's full length show all of these advances. Additionally, there have been a lot of significant alterations made to these locations when compared to the pictures we previously displayed. One. For instance, Neom Community 1 now has the appearance and functionality of an entire city all by itself. Complete with convenience stores, a bus station, a school, a mosque, a post office, and hundreds of housing units. There have been a lot of significant alterations made to these locations when compared to the pictures we previously displayed. 1. For instance, Neom Community 1 now has the appearance and functionality of an entire city all by itself. Complete with convenience stores, a bus station, a school, a mosque, a post office, and hundreds of housing units. The neighborhood even has a Starbucks location. In the meantime, it appears that throughout the previous year, there has been a noticeable advancement in the excavation work for the line's main construction. You can now almost entirely follow the beginning and ending of the foundations by using Google Maps. In the coastal section known as the Hidden Marina, excavation is also well advanced. 3. When this project's portion was finished, it would become the biggest marina in the world combined. It may accommodate up to twice as many people as the Wonder of the Seas, the largest cruise ship in the world, 3. As of right now, excavation activity at the Hidden Marina is thought to be the biggest in the world, 3. To create room for the building, up to 1 million cubic meters of dirt are excavated every week, 3. Along with the excavation that has been going on since last year, the main structure's piling construction has also started. In a segment of the line known as Module 43, about 4, 500 individual piles have been put in the last year, 3. At its height, daily pile installation for the foundation of the structure amounted to more than 60. With building projected to pick up steam over the following few months, this number is anticipated to become even higher. The spine, the line's dedicated subterranean rail system, has also undergone some significant modifications. The system's overall scope has been drastically restricted as of June 2023. First off, there has been a reduction of over 30 kilometers in the total length of underground digging that needs to be done. 4. In addition, there were only 9 stations instead of the original 48. How how is Saudi Arabia going to finance all of this development that is being made? And which businesses are engaged? First off, the public investment fund directly finances and owns the line in addition to the entirety of Neom. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia has direct control over the country's sovereign wealth fund, 16. This $700 billion amount is still the key force driving the ongoing advancement as of right now. Present agreements with other businesses mostly concern the foundation and excavation operations. Among the well, known figures are the French group Baki Soltange, 17, the German group Bauer, and the UK group Keller Group. Meanwhile, piling work on the marina is currently being done by Power China, a state owned construction business, 17. Finally, the contract to construct a high-speed rail route connecting the route to Oxagon, 18, was recently given to Saudi Arabia's Sajco and the Italian contractor WeBuild. However, there are still a lot of valid complaints of it despite all of the recent and significant advancements. One is the inherent irony of the project's sustainability claim. A University of New South Wales specialist calculated that the entire city's construction would produce up to 1.8 gigatons of CO2 in total carbon footprint. 5. To put this into perspective, the annual emissions of the entire UK are more than four times this level. 5. 
To stack every component of a metropolis vertically on this scale is simply unsustainable. Serious worries exist regarding human rights as well. Numerous analysts assert that locals were compelled to abandon their villages in order to create room for the construction site. The United Nations Human Rights Office reports that a few of the demonstrators received lengthy prison sentences, and three of them even have an imminent risk of execution due to their death sentences. This has undoubtedly gained popularity and will have an impact on the project as a whole. In addition to looking awful, it will make it more difficult to raise money from international investors, which will hurt the initiative itself. We now examine the status of Trojina, the following significant development. A wide desert surrounded by mountains is home to an insanely luxurious winter destination for skiing and winter sports. It differs from the other initiatives in Niam, albeit having a comparable scope and level of ridiculousness. In fact, Saudi Arabia has only six years to conclude construction. The cause? The 2029 Asian Winter Games are coming soon. The kingdom was granted the right to host the esteemed event following a triumphant bid only the previous year, 7. The Crown Prince initially revealed the project in 2022, only a few months prior to the nation's application being accepted for the Winter Games. Trojina is located in the middle of one of the tallest mountain ranges in the nation, around 50 kilometers from the shore of the Red Sea. There has been some consistent advancement in the project's construction ever since it was initially made public. The majority of the work completed on Trojina in the last year has been the actual excavation around the mountains to provide space for its several developments. To date, 1.6 million cubic meters of material have been dug up at the project site in order to create a massive artificial lake. 8. Work on the vault, another location, is also going quite well. This is the vertical village of Trojina, to be excavated from the neighboring mountains. The executive director of the project states that over a million cubic tons of material have already been removed from the mountains. Over the past year, 8. Foundation construction for the future ski community has also been ongoing. Ennismore, one of the biggest luxury travel and leisure companies globally, partnered with Trojina back in November 2022. They intend to construct two of their opulent hotels inside the future ski village of the project. The intentions to develop a five. Star Resort in the Water Village have also been announced by international hotel operator Minor Hotels. The construction plans appear to be fully underway as of right now. And having made great strides in the last year, Saudi Arabia is dedicated to sticking to their extremely tight 2029 deadline. However, many questions remain unsolved even with this dedication to meeting their goal. Trojina's ability to remain a winter attraction in such an environment is one of its biggest criticisms. Many questions remain unsolved even with this dedication to meeting their goal. Trojina's ability to remain a winter attraction in such an environment is one of its biggest criticisms. Snowfall is still uncommon in the highlands, even if temperatures sometimes drop below freezing. This concept would have to rely entirely on artificial snow machines, which use a lot of electricity and water to run, to provide enough snow for a ski resort. When you consider that seawater from the Red Sea will be used, all of this begins to sound much more difficult. They have to desalinate the water before they can carry it over such vast distances and elevations. Let's move on to Sindala, a significant undertaking that Niam is presently undertaking. It's the opulent island resort location off the coast of Niam. The Red Sea places the island destination in a convenient location, making it reachable by boat, seaplane, or the adjacent Niam Bay Airport. Sindala has an 86 berth marina and will be a premier sailing destination. In addition, the island will have three five star hotels, a golf course, and other upscale eateries and shops, 9. This significant project, which was initially revealed in December of last year, is anticipated to be the first to open within Niam. By as early as 2024, the island's developers hope to host its first visitors. In actuality, Sindala's success determines much for Niam as a whole. The public will get the first chance to witness the essence of this future metropolis when it opens next year, 9. Considering the impending opening date, Sindala's construction is actually advanced. Based on Google Maps satellite imagery, the majority of the island is presently under construction. In addition to deciding on the general design of the structures and foundations, roads have already been constructed. Even some of the buildings surrounding the island's marina appear to be almost finished. Furthermore, a large portion of the golf course's grass has already been laid out. Marriott International is likewise optimistic that they can complete development in time for the 2024 launch having already inked a deal to open three opulent hotels in Sindala, 10. In the meantime, 
a whole village devoted to the project's advancement has been established to the northeast of the island. Having already inked a deal to open three opulent hotels in Sindala, 10. In the meantime, a whole village devoted to the project's advancement has been established to the northeast of the island. This neighborhood has a range of housing options, offices, logistical centers, and amenities for site personnel. Sindala appears to be the most advanced big development in Neom thus far. Both the editing and the search for the most recent data took a significant amount of our effort. Therefore, if you've liked this video thus far, please consider subscribing. The floating industrial port city of Oxagon, located near the west coast of the kingdom, is the fourth and last significant project in Neom. To refresh your memory, Oxagon is envisioned as Neom's commercial and industrial hub. It would be a port city that serves numerous developing industries, such green energy, and is situated along one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. The port of Neom will also be located within the project. The primary industrial and logistical hub of the future megacity. By 2025, Saudi Arabia intends to open the port's first terminal with a 2 billion US dollars investment. But in addition to becoming a hub for industry, Oxagon will also function as a bustling city with distinct neighborhoods for housing, leisure, entertainment, and tourism. Among the well, known businesses hoping to grow via this project are Yodel, 14, Curtain Hospitality, 13, and IHG Hotels and Amp, Resorts, 12. At some point between 2025 and 2026, all of these developments are expected to open in the city's first residential neighborhood. Though there hasn't been much news about the construction, not much work has been completed on the project. Certain infrastructure has been constructed around the port of Neom, based on satellite pictures of the location. However, it is important to remember that several of these structures were formerly a part of the older Duba port, which was recently moved and given a new name, 15. Similar to the communities established around the line and Sindala. An Oxagon community has also been established a little further to the south. This one appears to have received the least amount of attention in contrast to the others in Neom. Saudi Arabia appears to be really serious about making its trailers a reality, based on everything that has been built thus far. We'll have to wait and see how precisely they work out. I hope this video update was enjoyable to you. Would you like to see more content like to this? Do you also believe that Neom's plans will be implemented? Tell us in the comments. We can't wait to read them. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video.